We spoke with Lawrence Perry Jr. He is the older brother of the victim. Even though he has the same last name, he is not related to the man who killed his younger sister, and that man might soon be walking out of the ACI. At just four years old, Lawrence Perry Jr. only has one memory of when he and his 18-month-old sister Leah were in the care of Walter Perry. Us being in a room together and him pretty much hitting the both of us. Walter Perry, the boyfriend of Lawrence Jr.'s mother, beat Leah to death. Lawrence was placed in foster care and went through counseling. So when you look at it, some of your child was kind of robbed from the situation. So my sister passed away from it, but I'm still probably, you know, I'm a victim of the, the same crime. It's just I survived. Leah died in 1984. Walter was sentenced in 1987 to spend his life behind bars. When Lawrence Jr. turned 18, every two years he went to Walter's parole hearings with petitions in hand from family and friends asking to keep the accused murderer in jail. But this week, the parole board administrator confirms the board voted unanimously to let Walter out. I feel as though they should be ashamed of himself that you can let a guy that pretty much viciously beat an 18-month-old girl to death. There's no sorry for that. There's no remorse. This was Walter's ninth appearance before the parole board. He won't be released until a transitional plan is worked out, which includes a ban on him living in Washington County. But if Lawrence Jr. had his say... I just want to see him where he belongs. And that's in jail. Attorney General Peter Kilmartin even wrote a letter to try and block the parole board's decision. Lawrence Jr. says now that the family and the community will try and do everything they can to try to overturn that decision. Reporting live in Cranston with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News.